Have you ever wanted to add multiple points all even around a path? Something like this, a circle or a rectangle or other shapes. Well, you can do that now in Affinity Photo version two. That's the key thing. So let's just remove that. And I'm just gonna go and select shape. Any of these tools will work. So rectangle tool, obviously it's nice to create very quick rectangle. With all these shapes, you need to convert it to a curve. It will not work otherwise. So once you've got that shape, just go up here and convert to curves. So click that. Now you'll notice straight away the action here. This is the thing you're gonna do, the split curves. It's not visible, not available. But what you need to do is go to the node tool. So with the node tool selected, select all of the points or nodes. And now you can see you've got it and just click. And you can see what happens. It splits it. So you've got that and there, and you've got midpoint. Likewise, that one and that one, you've got midpoint. And you can do the same. So select all the points, click it again. And then you can see now it's divided that again, split that between the two. Another point there, another point there. Repeat it. And you can build up very rapidly, very complex path of points, all even, all the way around. You think, well, what can I do with that? Well, obviously it's nice that it's all uniform, but you can also simply go to one. So select that one, select that one, maybe select that and so on. You don't have, you maybe keep it consistent as well would help. So just drag that one up and so on. But you can build up all kinds of different designs just by using this even feature. But also what you can do, no tool, you can select maybe this side. You might think, you know what? I want a few more points, but I want them all even still. So you just go up here to the action and it will just apply it to the ones that are selected. So you just select those ones, click there, and you can repeat that, create very, well, lots of points, maybe too many points, but you've got that and you can do exactly the same as before. You can just simply select that one and just drag that out, select that one, drag that out. Obviously it's very small, but you can build up all kinds of different designs. You can also use this with this feature, which is the Let's just go here to the pen tool. With the pen tool, maybe create a curve. I'm going to create a zigzag. That's easier. So quick zigzag, very basic zigzag. Now you can use the pen tool and do the split as well. But I think it's always easier just to quickly go to the node tool. Always prefer to work with nodes with the node tool, but you can with the pen tool as well. So select all of those using the node tool. And again, go up here to the action and click this and you can see what's happened it's split between that one and that one now the path is not split you'll notice if you go over here to the curve it's there's only just one curve still and again you can select all of them or just select a couple do exactly the same and you can do this multiple times build up all even all the way along that path you can also do it with text so let's just go up now text is slightly more complex but not very much I'm just going to create some text. So word text. And now bold. And you could, of course, use any font. I'm using Arial Bold, but you don't have to. Now I'm going to make it fairly big. Again, exactly the same with the rectangle. You need to click Convert to Curves. So click that. Now you can see it's go over here, go to the layers, and you can break this down, just expand that out. And you can then go here and select the T, say and you can see you've got the nodes. Now at this point you'll see the action is not available. Well, again, no tool, select all the points like that. And now you've got access to it. So click there and you can see now it's split it, exact same as before. So again, click there. So you can build up lots and lots of points. You might not want to do that, but again, you can still, if you want, you can then drag that out or distort that in many different ways. Obviously I'm just, dragging them in and out, but you could maybe make slightly different ones, like designs like that. So it's scratched, maybe select there. So it's, you end up with some very unusual sort of zoom effects inside your, maybe not that one, but so on. You could create all kinds of different designs simply by just dragging those across in different ways. And of course, there's lots of other variations you can do. And you can do exactly the same with the E. So select that, again, make certain they're all selected. And again, click there and you can see you can add. The key thing is you have to keep selecting. If you don't select it, you'll notice what happens. Sometimes 
it will not make uniform. So you can always undo, just go back. If you've made a mistake, you haven't selected it by accident. There's some selected, some not. Make certain they're all selected. And then again, click that. And then you will get an even design all the way around. So again, click there. And of course you could like say, add too many points maybe. And of course there might be a limit. I don't know. I might suddenly say, no, can't create anymore. Well, that's the split curve feature. Please put in the comments. If you've got any questions, always great to hear from you. Any thoughts, etc. great to hear as well. Thank you much.